Okay, so I've just been told that the reason why we are running on diesel power is indeed because of engineering works and it is to offload the power demand from the overhead lines and the train will indeed switch to overhead power once we reach Stevenage. And this is my very first time travelling on a Hitachi A train running on diesel power and the uh, diesel generators can be heard in the background whenever the train accelerates, like now. So this is a new experience for me. Okay, so this is a, an LNER Azuma, which is a Hitachi A train, but this one is the uh, hybrid or bi mode model. And we are running on diesel power, as you can hear in the background. And I've been told that this is to offload the uh, power demand on the overhead lines um, because a couple of weeks ago I was traveling on one of the uh, trains, one of the Templing train, and the uh, overhead lines uh, tripped because too many trains were routed along these lines. Uh, this is because of engineering works on the uh, usual line that connects this part of the country with London, and too many trains were routed onto the same uh, alternative uh, branch. Anyway, we are now approaching Stevenage. We can still hear the diesel engine running in the background but I've been told that it's going to be shut off um, as soon as we reach Stevenage and the train is going to continue its journey on the uh, pantograph power. So we'll um, keep recording and I'm going to step out of this train and see what the situation is. Um, in particular whether the pantograph is already raised or, or not. So as you can see, the uh, the cam is still uh, pushing these uh, doors outwards to plug against the uh, the uh, insulation seal. Yep, stop signs there to uh, confirm that the uh, engineering was a place. Make sure to stay personal along this video and please do mind the gap between the train and the platform edge. Thank you very much for travelling with LNER. Right, so we just have to wait for the cams to retract before we can open the door. It does so automatically based on speed and now we have to wait for the driver to unlock the door. Here we go. Okay, so it's still um, running on uh, diesel power. And now it's shut off. We can see that the uh, pantograph has been raised. And that's the sound of um, an electrical system being powered up. Very interesting. So I believe the sound that we are hearing now is just some cooling fans running. Um, we can see the exhaust uh, case right in front there, right in the middle of the screen. And now this train should depart on electric power. So it's going to be a lot quieter and faster for the uh, passengers who are continuing this journey up north to Leeds. Okay, brakes have been released. That's an induction motor. Okay, that's the sound of the uh, doors being pushed outwards again, the frame once again.
There we go.